All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting like right back into the action here on World's Edge. As you can see, we got Black Hand going ham <laughs> with all these different types of movements. Uh, we got a lot of, we're starting to see a lot of rotations in and out of uh, Lava Siphon and a lot of third party potential right here as they start popping off some shots. You start to see the Crypto Drone coming in with Voltic getting absolutely shredded uh, and beamed across the map and Black Hand just trying to find some sort of cover when it comes to that Newcastle push. But as you can see, we got AP rolling up behind them. Black Hand not even aware of their surroundings as they push Vizio. But AP is going to go ahead and start getting a couple shots in. This top advantage point is just allowing them to full send um, into Black Hand. But we'll start to see some shots come in from AP. A little pop shot here and there. Uh, sonar detected coming in from, of course, uh, Bloodhound as Black Hand start to retreat from all these different teams. Uh, Tyler, we're, see we're seeing Black Hand try and full send right here onto uh, Nim's team. And I just, I'm starting to see too much action to actually be able to have some good words yeah black hand thought they had the advantage and they did for a minute but then ap came from behind so they had a they had to retreat a little bit but then they ended up running into another team uh thankfully for them they were able to to get out of that situation uh, alive but uh let's see what ap can do now with this with this high ground that they've gained yeah they probably saw black hand go ahead and take that uh geyser so they could actually like get away knowing that they had a knock on block on one of black hands members but now they start to take some charge rifle shots over from the transit station we saw one yeah. team like already cooped up over there i wonder if they also saw black hands actually like transfer over out of that ravine yeah it'll be interesting to see what their strategy is now because uh i think they were caught off off, a, caught a little off guard in that in that scenario <clears throat> but now ap has got to work uh with this high ground and make sure to not to not get uh pushed themselves like how they did black hand yeah black hand's going to go ahead and like jump around this geyser and start taking a little bit more shots from ap as we saw ap take that uh kill for black hand and eliminate one of their players uh they were able to grab that that beacon uh, and hopefully they can get back in through uh, through the zone and actually start going for that res. But that's that second or that uh, that third ring is actually going to start moving in here in about two minutes, and they're pretty far away from that beacon. Yeah, it looked like they immediately reconsidered that as soon as they started going in. They they might have uh, thought twice about that one. But let's let's see. They do have the beacons, so it'll be interesting if they have enough uh, med kits and, and health kits to, to get there. What I'm concerned about is Nightmare might actually run into Black Hand as they're both rotating around that outside. One over here within the actual, like, outside of the building, but it looks like they are going to get that, that respawn in. But I don't know if they are going to be able to make it back in the like the actual zone without nightmare noticing yeah it looks like uh they're able to craft some some things right now hopefully some some uh, med kits health kits and hopefully that'll carry them through but yeah they have to watch out because nightmare is going to be right there uh maybe waiting for them but at least just in a position to react well enough if they do see them so it's a risky strategy, but, you know, they think it's worth it to get their teammate back. So we'll see if it pays off. Yeah, since they already got him back in, it's allowing them to do that hard rotate all the way to the outside uh, edge of the zone away from AP. So maybe this will allow AP to only have that one focus on Nightmare as we start to see he'll take some more pot shots into uh, that big building. Oh, but and Nightmare's... Pushing up on on a uh, nightmare is pushing up on uh, black hand and hands. Oh, hands ready for it. Black hand. And they, oh, just... they took him down. Oh my god! Oh, from inside of the zone. That was great. 
literally. I think they caught him off guard, even though it looked like uh, they had the the better position. Black Hand took their hands and just smacked Nightmare across the face and said, "Hey, we'll see you in the next game." And now they've got to watch out because they've been seen by some other squads. Uh, even though they took out Nightmare, uh, th- they've got to be careful that you know they don't get pushed on. Uh, yeah. from another squad because there's definitely a lot of action right there and some teams took notice of that i do want to note though that nightmare isn't completely dead they have one player ratting it out in the corner by uh by the side of the rocks uh i don't know if they're gonna actually be able to be seen by ap or black hand rotating in but they could definitely get some high placement points if they play their cards right but no was- definitely yeah, we start to see they, RCO taking some pot shots over here at uh, at TR, but I sh- man, Black Hand, at, like I'm still not able to get over that play. No, that was a. I mean, best case scenario uh, from that that uh, ground that they were coming out of, they just were hoping that nobody would be there and they could just get their teammate back, which they did. They got their teammate back and they took down two people. So that was the best case scenario for them right there. It really was. And then you start to see Black Hand rotating around, knowing that these teams are fighting up here, trying to get some sort of advantage spot to be able to third party and grab some of these early, uh, or not early, but late game KP points to actually like raise up their rank and potentially contest AP for this top position um and get that get that prize pool money but we saw rco start to take a a bunch of shots towards uh that team that was camping down the edge of the rocks and they started going for some damage but they just could not capitalize on it yeah already went for a one-on-two push he did have the high ground but i think he thought better of it once they the other team became aware of him and he they fell back to a better position yeah, this is going to allow Black Hand to actually slowly start moving up. They do have that intel from the ring from when they went and got that beacon. But, again, we we start to see AP shredding the lobby one team at a time. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see Black Hand come in towards the very end and we see these two teams fight off against each other. He's literally going beast mode right now. He's literally going beast mode. And they were able to take down one, but uh, not not the whole squad. But they'll take what they can get with that push. Yeah, at the end of the day, that's a KP for them. And, like, at the end of the day, they're going to get some more placement points, hopefully. But uh, now they are without a Bloodhound ult. And with a, uh, with a team scurrying away, they're not going to be able to finish them off. No, but uh, that's just their style of play. You know, they they go they go hard, they go aggressive. Um, you know, there is some strategy to it, but they are they're talented enough to, to do that. Yeah, and we start to see RCO actually get triple pushed by uh, this team on top of their building. They're forced to flee from the doors, knowing that uh, someone's going to have to start pushing. But he lands two good PK shots and gets the knock contested actually going to go down we start seeing a lot of door pushes newcastle coming out door pushing and they're white and rco gets the entire thing ap going to eliminate antimatter we see three squads go down within 30 seconds of each other black hand going to go ahead and throw down newcastle alt and get down some cover black hand going to get some knocks on sticks as well it's a bloodbath right now revenge eliminated what an entirely good push. And we're stuck with AP and Blackhand leaving it off right where they started. Yeah, these have been the best two teams of, of uh, so far, these two two games, two days. So this is only fitting that it comes down to them. Yeah, we got a little bit of fighting left over where uh, RCO was eliminated. But I think we need to take a little breather from that. Yeah, the action was nonstop right there, and I mean, the the circle is only going to be closing in, so we're going to get more. Yeah, I'm excited to see where it keeps going.